Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of uh, me playing Curse of Monkey Island. I really like this game from the first episode, so this will be really exciting to keep forging ahead again. Uh, as before, I'm probably going to keep the commentary to a minimum because, I mean, this game just kind of speaks for itself. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's let's enjoy some more. Here we go. In the last episode, I managed to escape from the dungeon, whatever you want to call it, the brig. And uh, LeChuck kind of evaporated after his voodoo cannon exploded. So now here I am in the treasure room. I think I just got to find out what's important down here, and then we're going to head out. I hate to think what that comb's been through. I think LeChuck needs it more than I do. It's the biggest pile of treasure I've ever seen. I finally found my treasure. I'm a real pirate after all. Oh, look at all this. And it's mine. All mine. Gold. And jewels. I'm rich. And still, I would give it all up for the love of Elaine. Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. <laughs> I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. It's got a zombie ballerina. It got broken when the ship capsized. Nah. Marry me or die. Touching. It's a bottle of sparkling formaldehyde. Good year, too. Mmm, no. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers collection. A beautiful high capacity washer and dryer combination. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Duh, glory. <laughs> Chocolate covered barnacles? Marshmallow hooks? Sea urchins? Glass eyes? Ugh. It's stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. The bear's too big to carry around, and the sword's a fake plastic one. Mmm, no. Hey, I can see the ocean floor. And there's a really angry looking skull floating around out there. Only I could find a way to get up there and get out. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. Hmm, what do we have? Bag of nickels. A ring. Skeleton arm. Hmm. Ah, helium balloons might be useful. I can't use a balloon with that. The ring? I don't want to pop the fun balloons. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. Maybe I can put them up here? I can't use a balloon with that. Hmm. 
That doesn't need any jewelry. Interesting. Must be something I'm missing. Nickels. That doesn't take wooden nickels. That doesn't take wooden nickels. <laughs> I don't know what to do then. It's a bottle of sparkling formaldehyde. This is only for reading. Yeah, how do I read that? I guess I don't know. Um... No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing- I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. Nah. Nah. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Duh, glory. It's got a zombie ballerina. Nah. It got broken when the ship capsized. That doesn't need any jewelry. Really? That, did that kill me? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, I did it! Hooray! <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever! Is it really you? Yes, Elaine! Um... Did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow something always Guy Brush, leads me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Brush. Oh, Wally? You're alive! But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring! Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckles safe. <laughs> See you at the wedding. <laughs> Guybrush! Uh... <laughs> oh, this is getting good. Oh no! Elaine? She's not going to be happy about this. It's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. Elaine? Honey? You okay? Can I get you anything? I'll just start lifting that pirate curse then, huh? The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. It says, Welcome to Puerto Pollo from the Plunder Island Poultry Brotherhood. It's a glowing ember left over from the battle. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Plunder Island Feral Chicken, one of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. Neat. Hey! 
I don't think so. The bridge is uncrossable. It's just as well. There's nothing interesting in the fort anyway. Mm, no. <laughs> Pick up the bridge. Man, this game really did open up. Ooh, probably don't want to go that way. I want to go into town first. Wait, hold on. Voodoo markings. Mysterious. Mm, no. Nah. <laughs> that fort has seen better days. Well, I guess we're going into town. This is yet. So I'm gonna go there. Five cents. Lemonade. How inspiring. A budding young entrepreneur. You, you've got to help me. We're closed. You've, you've got to help. I. Closed? Yep. The child labor laws around here are very strict. <laughs> but, 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 but my girlfriend has been placed under a pirate curse. Oh. Then you need to see the lady over in Plunder Swamp. She's been leaving flyers around. You might find one somewhere here in town. It's a mug for the lemonade. Hey! That mug's for paying customers only. Oh, easy. Here. <laughs> There's no time for that now. That doesn't take wooden nickels. There's no time for that now. Well, why not? Whatever. Uh. It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. That would stain my fingers red. Danger Cove. Danger, do not enter. Plunder Island Naturalist Society Nature Trail. Blonde Beard's Chicken Shop. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. Uh, hello? I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, <laughs> ah, forget it. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things, formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Nice. Let's take that. It's a chicken coop, but I don't see any chickens. Nah. Bush. A pristine example of one of the many decorative bushes used for landscaping Plunder Island. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Hmm. Wow, this jungle is thick. If I wanted to take this trail, I'd have to hack my way through. Duly noted. Hmm. Whoa. Wow. That's kind of cool.
helpful. Um, the Barbary Coast. They don't seem to be open. We're closed. Come back later. Uh, but, but you don't understand. I need help. It's an emergency. A hair emergency? No. My, my girlfriend... It, well, no, actually, I suppose she's my fiancé now. Although I guess she never really said yes. Because the curse kind of stopped her in mid-sentence. Uh, curse? Did you say curse? You'll want to see the voodoo lady. She handles curses. All right. Need to see the voodoo lady. Just checking stuff out first, though. See what's going on around town. In memory of the chickens who gave their lives during the Great Puerto Pollo Potluck Jamboree of 1621. <laughs> nice. The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. Hmm. The stage door is closed. It's locked. The front door is closed. It's locked. Hey! <laughs> okay, chickens on the roof. like it was thrown here by a typhoon. Boom! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited! Yeah, right. <laughs> I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back! Darkness will envelop you! <laughs> How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will! Uh-huh. All right, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals! I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull! Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh right, I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp! You seem bitter. I'm sorry, it's been a rough day. What are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth. 
How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. I don't know if I want to carry him around. He's kind of annoying. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> It's a big stuffed alligator with an unusually long tongue. He's stuffed. Admiral Sweetum spit o jerky bubblegum. Five cents. I'm no vandal. I'm a pirate. Hmm. I don't want those dull little scissors. How cute! A paper voodoo doll. I don't need it. It's just a toy. It's a voodoo pen. What a relief! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> uh, funny. Sure, it won't do anything. After all, it's just a paper voodoo doll. Make it stop! Ah! <laughs> nice. Um, let's use it on uh, the alligator. I don't want to pin that. No. Nope. Okay. How about on this? I don't want to pin that. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Bit o oh, janky. <laughs> uh. That doesn't need gum. Flyer. There might be a discount. I thought for sure this was going to be the shop with the voodoo lady, but I'm not seeing much else to do here. Hey, Murray, remember this? I'd still appreciate it if I could have that back. 
What would you do with it without your collarbone? Oh, never mind. I think he'd like that. I don't want to cinch that with this ember. I don't want to cinch that with this ember. Hey, Murray, stop tormenting me. <laughs> I want to hang on to this flyer. This is only for reading. I think he wants to be alone right now. No, well, at least I gave him a piece of gum, so... Excuse me, could you? We're closed. We don't do curses. Beat it. Hmm. Maybe I need to keep going up this way. Oh, football. I'm liking this. There are ants crawling all over it. I could never hope to move that tree. Curious pile of logs there. Pshaw. It's an enormous keg of old gut blast brand rum. these numbers are for Sumatran rubber tree donated to Puerto Pollo by our Sumatran sister city of Vacaville this tree is the only one of its kind in the entire Western Hemisphere and stands as an everlasting symbol of the friendship between our two cities Caribbean rubber tree one of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean used as raw material for shipbuilding there are other ants crawling all over it. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to call it right here for the second episode. Unfortunately, nothing too conclusive happened, but we did give gum to a skeleton head. Uh, so, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, till the next time, see you then.